Another evening of wonderful Goku. Jianju is a traditional Korean village called the Hanuk. This is the home of Bi Bin Ba. <laughs> a 17 ton bell, the largest in Korea. And one of the largest. One of the largest in the world. Monday the 10th of October. This is the National Museum and this whole town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was the capital of Korea for a thousand years. And as almost always, Lynn's picking up a conversation with some Korean types who speak English. Just a knack of hers. Thank you very much, Joanne, for just a wonderful tour. Thank you very much. Sunday, October the 2nd, and we just by accident ran across the street, or ran across, or came across the street, and uh, we are by far the oldest people here by maybe 40 years, everybody's young, and uh, this place is, I guess, hopping. Prices, and you know, that may look expensive, but that's basically five dollars. Those are all five dollars. We're at the corner at night, and look at this eyeglass store. It's really catchy. The frames are wrapped around the building and changing color continually. I just think that is very, very cool. Looks like they got a uh, half a pig over there being roasted. Another half they've eaten, at least partially. But here are all sorts of foods. I'm not sure what they are. Maybe they're roasting some Parts of food. What's she gonna put in there? Yeah, good question. Or oh, maybe red peppers? No. Garlic. Let's <laughs> put in some garlic in here. garlic. Maybe some more garlic. As we go, got some more garlic going in here. Those greens look so fresh. Yeah. Now there. What is it? What is this? Maybe that's more garlic, I don't know. The end of the garlic juice, maybe? Yeah. This salt in this one. Big salt. Coarse salt. More salt going in. Maybe that's a little sugar. Well, maybe that was sugar. She's giving me hope for making it because she's not measuring very carefully. Well, you know. <laughs> well, what's that? You know, I would wow. not make oh, this. Oh, that's uh, maybe a sort of Is vinegar. Is it kind of like vinegar or soy sauce? I don't know. No, it's not dark. Oh. Oh, and this is probably vinegar, huh? Oh, it's heavy. Oil. That was very heavy. Boy, if this is the slaw that I love on the table, that's what it could be. Oh, you can smell it now. Oh, look at this. This is oh, chili going in here. These ladies just said spicy, very spicy. That's great. So this is a cup full of chili. Look at it. I guess a lot of chili goes into this uh, kimchi. <laughs> that's why you wear rubber gloves. So what's next? Oh, more, more, looks like more, more chili here. More chili. It wasn't, wasn't hot enough, I don't think. 
<laughs> okay. More chili. <laughs> well, really she, mix that up. she's actually very good at this because I would have gotten most of this outside of the bowl after this point. But uh, she's uh, obviously done this before. It looks to be like some of uh, the chili has fallen down to the bottom, but. He's getting it on the side. Getting, yeah. People are acting like these are a couple of models here. I don't know. There's just all sorts of people shooting pictures. Outside the building and it keeps lights keep changing, but notice how the little filter Pinprint lights shine through. Very awesome. Uh, typical bus. <laughs> no, it'll go dark and tag and it'll change the silver. And now it's those wonderful pinpricks again. That awesome figure. It looks like a galactic spaceship, really. And more than your eye can fix on. Isn't it amazing? It's a lot though. As far as the eye can see, acres of figurines. In color, lit, samurai, and people doing things. And then out here is the river. Here's an entire war or battle scene made with lit sculptures. I mean, this goes on for about as far as the eye can see. This is kind of amazing. This is inside the fort. There's a battle scene outside, and this is the view from inside the fort. This took some effort on somebody's part. Each one of these sculptures, lit sculptures, is handmade. They have a wrought iron, and you possibly see it, steel frame inside that they've stretched some sort of plastic cloth of different colors over this. This probably gives you a better idea of how these sculptures are made. You can see the thick wire that's bent into the shape of the sculpture, and then they have colored plastic cloth stretched over this wire and glued in place. It's uh, really quite a, I'm sure, an art. Scenes around this fort. There's some sort of temple. But if you can imagine, and I can't, making each one of these sculptures and then lighting it and setting it up, it's just phenomenal. Here's an overview of the river and the scenes up here on the hill and the fortress and a battle and figures that are practicing war skills. Here's a little Christmas scene with some Santa Claus and snowmen. And this, for this scene, maybe is overexposed, but 
here at the top of this hill are some very nice figures lit. <laughs> This is an overview of the river and they do have little tours of this river area with all the floats being lit up. And they have some movable lit figures. There's one on a teeter-totter. I'm not sure I understand the significance of all this, but it's, um, it's of, certainly of interest to children. About eight o'clock at night, most of the sculptures are, or all the sculptures are lit, and it's very crowded, but very scenic. So here's a moving lit sculpture. It's a dragon. Quite something. Somebody spent a little time on this. Here is a walkway at the Lantern Festival that is two kilometers long and composed of 20,000 lanterns. Each lantern is donated by a person or a company for this Jinju Lantern Festival. <laughs> 